Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Moments Nursery. We're just gonna do George's box packing for his trip home. remake of my original mason um, that I did a couple of years ago. Uh, he is the bow by Janie D. Lang doll kit and he's about 20 inches long so he's a nice cuddly baby. He's got super soft curly mohair uh, in a light brown colour. He is going to go home in what he's wearing, uh, a nice striped top and his little blue tracky pants. Uh, I've got a couple of outfits as well, other goodies that he he's going to go home with. I found a nice grow suit, again stripy, which I thought would go well with his uh, bodysuit. Uh, it is just a little puppy dog print on that. So that'll keep him nice and warm during the winter months. And he's also going to go home with a beanie and mitten set. And a little scarf, beanie or bandana, depending on what his mum would like to dress him up uh, with. Uh, it's just got some M's and N's on it. And a little Winnie the Pooh bib uh, in a white colour for him. And I'm gonna wrap up his bib with his clothing, just like that. Uh, he's gonna go home with some nappies, so I've chosen a couple of different prints for him, depending on what his mum wants to put in, him in. And I've got him a little keepsake card, which I'm going to write in his details, so his mum can keep that as a, a reminder of uh, what he is and what date he was born and such. And his care instructions and his certificate as well. And I'm going to put those into a nice Ziploc bag which is going to protect them. Just like that. And I'm going to put in the card once I've written his details in that. So that's just going to sit like that. Uh, a bracelet for his mum, just as a little gift from me. So that doesn't get lost, I'm going to put that into the bag like that. And he's got two little charms, one that says handmade and a little love heart. So his mum can put them onto a bracelet uh, if she'd like to. And again, so they don't get lost in the box, I'm going to put those into his bag. So that's all of his information in there. And he's also going to go home with a rattle and I like the little sporty print on that for him. And a little blue bottle with a little teddy bear on the front so she can just have that as a display bottle there's nothing in it, it's empty so he's going to go home with that uh, baby powder and mohair conditioner because he's got the mohair so the mohair conditioner is going to make his hair all nice and soft and silky and I'm going to put those into a ziplock just so they don't leak in the box like that and his mum wanted him to come home with a magnetic dummy so I picked one with a little uh, train on it and I'm going to put that into a little just a little fabric bag to keep it safe and then that's going to go on top of him when he's in his box 
and George is a little anatomically correct belly plate so of course he's got all of his little boy bits and I'm going to put in some ribbon as well so his mum can choose whether to tie the plate on or just sit it on underneath his nappy and then to protect that I'm just going to put a little bit of tissue paper just over the paintwork and then wrap it in some tissue paper. I'll put in his ribbon just like that. to hold that in place just like that. So that's his belly plate ready for the box. And I've chosen a robot themed blanket for George. So I'm gonna wrap him up in that. But we're gonna do his clothing first. And I've just got a little bear and baby print uh, for his package. So I'm just gonna wrap up his grow suit and his bib together. So that's his clothing, all ready for his box as well. So we'll get his blanket ready and we'll wrap him up for his trip home. protect his little feet. I'm actually going to pull his trackies over his toes and then again curl his little feet up because he seems to fit better in the box when they're like that. Okay, so we'll wrap up his hands first. Like that, and then we'll cover his little face we don't want to ruin the surprise when she's unboxing him. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to go with some yellow ribbon to tie around him. already for his box and got all of his other little goodies ready so I'll go and line his box with some nice tissue paper and then we can start the boxing process I'll be back soon guys okay guys so I've chosen some nice blue tissue paper to send George home in and I've lined it Nicely there. So we'll put him in and see how he fits. So again, I'm going to put him in on an angle because they seem to sit nicely in these boxes on an angle. Like that. And with his nappies, I'm going to put them around his head and his little feet. So just two down there. Just adds a little bit more protection for him and on his little head, just like that. Okay, 
Now we've got his belly plate. So I'm going to sit that down the side there. And I've got his clothing pack. I'll put that down on that side. His care instructions and certificate. I want those to stay nice and flat, so I'm going to sit those down behind his clothing like that. And then we've got his bottle. I'm going to put that. I'm going to squeeze that down here, I think. Just down there. Nice and secure. And mohair conditioner and the baby powder. I'll put that down in this corner here, like that. Uh, his baby rattle. Now I'm going to put that down the side, like that. And his magnetic dummy. I'm just going to slip that under his tie there so it doesn't get lost in the box. His little scarf bib or bandana. I'm going to just sit that over the top of the dummy just to help protect that a little bit more in the box. And his beanie and mittens as well. Um, I might put those over his little face like that. Now I've got a little bit more room there so I'm going to put in a few more nappies uh, just to hold everything in the box nice and securely. Um, and then George will be on his way home. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed another box packing. Um, we've got many more to come so stay tuned and we will talk to you soon. Bye!